Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Amanda Ensing and this is my beauty space. Hey everyone, welcome back. So let's address the elephant in the room. I did my brows a little differently today. Totally kidding, in all seriousness, uh, my hair it's not black anymore. I know, I'm like, what the heck? It's still weird seeing my face in the viewfinder. If you follow me on any of my other platforms, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, you would know that I'm changing my hair. And um, I was at the salon for eight hours <laughs> a couple days ago, and I'm finishing it in a couple of days. So you guys will see the final result soon. And I did film it for my channel because I've never gone this color. I mean, I've never even gone this color. Like, I love this color. Like, I'm kind of living for it. It's like a, an ashy, dirty blonde, it's kind of golden, I love it. But this is not the final product, this is nowhere near the color that I'm going. We just toned it so that it's like wearable for a couple of days. So don't worry, I will be putting that up on my channel. But I got some new concealers that I really wanted to review and I didn't pre-film enough videos until after this process was done. I thought I was gonna be done in one day and we were very wrong, my hair did not cooperate completely, so that's why we're giving it a break, and then we will finish in a couple of days. Today, we are doing a first impression review on the brand new KKW Beauty Concealers. Surprisingly, this box is hella heavy. I know the comment section is gonna go crazy. I feel like anytime I do anything Kardashian Jenner related, the comments are like people hating on me for talking about the products, or if I don't like the products, I don't like them. It's really neither. I know they have a cult following, which is amazing for them, um, but I just am reviewing it because I wanna know if it's good and a lot of you guys asked if it was good. I'm really, really interested. I haven't tried any of the KKW Beauty products since the first launch, so I'm excited to see if this is good or not because on her, of course it looks good. I'm on her Instagram, it looked good, but is it really good? I'm always honest with you guys, whether I love a product or I hate a product, and if I don't like a product, I'm very honest, but I'm not gonna be rude or like super mean towards any brand just because it's not my style. I wanna be respectful no matter what the brand is because even if a product doesn't work for me, it might work for you. And if I think a product is complete trash, I wanna respect the brand just because I know they worked so hard to put the product together. I know you guys know to put a product out, it takes a lot of work. Like it's, it's years in the making, it's a lot of money, it's a lot of effort. I just think of when I have a brand and I have my own makeup products, how much it would hurt if I saw someone just completely bashing and disrespecting my brand. So I hope that I'm always respectful and that you guys always interpret my reviews as respectful, whether I like a product or not. Just wanna throw that out there because I do know it takes a lot of work behind the scenes, even if a product doesn't work for me, if I don't like it, I wanna be respectful. So if I like this product, I'm not sucking up to them. I like the product. If I don't like it, I'm not a hater. I just don't like it. So that's my real talk for the intro of the video. Let's get into the products. I'm loving the little intro card. I think it's so cute. I believe this was drawn by Ponyboy. I saw on Instagram. I think that it's just so beautiful. I love this haircut. It's really, really cute. So this is the Conceal Bake Brighten Concealer and Powder line that she has just launched. So here is the range. There are 16 different concealer shades, four loose powders, four brightening powders, and two different brushes. So these are new concealer kits, as I mentioned, Conceal, Bake, Brighten. You're supposed to conceal, then bake, and then use another powder to brighten up that area. There are anti-aging ingredients in the formula to help with hydration, smoothness, fine lines, and wrinkles, make your skin appear firmer over time. Um, this is a three-step process that Mario and Kim have perfected. This has been her routine over the years, so she wanted to introduce it into a concealer kit. The concealers claim to be full coverage and hydrating, perfect for correcting and highlighting. The powders claim to be lightweight and not drying, a velvety finish that makes it look soft and diffused. Brightening powders are silky pressed powders infused with fine brightening pearls to add radiance and help create a fresh and awakened look. They launched today, March 23rd, when I'm filming this. You can buy a bundle for $80 each, which includes the concealer, the baking powder, the brightening powder, and the brushes, which there are two brushes, or you can buy them individually. Individually, the concealers are $18 each. The baking powders are $18 each. The brightening powders are $18 each. Both brushes are also $18 each. Let's do a little math. If you did 18 times five, that would be $90 before tax if you bought the brushes and all the kits. If you only wanted to buy the powders and the concealers, that would be $54. Or you can get the bundle for 80. Personally, I would either buy them individually or I would buy 
the three concealing products. I'm not a huge fan of brushes for my concealer, so that's irrelevant for me. And I feel like I already have brushes that I love, no shade against her brand, but just from a money perspective, if you wanna try all three, I would just buy all three by themselves because it's 54 versus 80. It's 80 because you're saving $10 versus buying all five separately. Starting off with the concealers, there are 16 different colors. There was a lot of opinions going around about the shade range. I do feel like they're mainly lighter and medium shades, only a couple of dark shades. However, they posted on the brand page a very dark skin model and her concealer looks so good. First of all, she's beautiful. She's wearing the concealer, it looks great. However, it's weird to me that they swatched all the colors on her hand as well as other models of different skin tones and you can't see the darker shades. Because of the way her hand is turned, you can only see the lighter shades, which I feel like defeats the purpose because obviously you wanna see what the darker shades look like. Even on this model, you can see you can't see the darker shades. So how are you supposed to know what the colors look like because of the way that the hand is turned? But the campaign in general, I think was really beautiful. I love this picture of this woman. I think it's beautiful. I also liked the picture that they posted of her, her mom and her grandma. I think that's also really cute. I like the campaign photos. I feel like they were really cute. They had a good range of older and younger models. There's actually quite a few older women in the pictures. I thought that was really cool and something different. However, it is a little surprising to me that they didn't come out with more darker shades. Like even if you have one really dark shade that's gonna fit darker skin tones, I would like to see a variety of darker colors just so they have one to choose from. And her daughter is darker skin tone. She's married to Kanye. I just would have expect her to come out with more and maybe they will. A lot of brands will create colors and then expand later. But with everything that's been going on in the beauty industry and how so many brands have come out dropping like 30 concealers at once of all different shades, I would have liked to see that. So hopefully they'll create more shades in the future. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of the shade range. I'm gonna include some swatches right now of the shade range so you can see it on my skin tone and see how they look. I'll include swatches of every color of the concealer. So here are the first four shades, shades one, through four. So here are shades five through eight. Five starting here, eight ending here. This is shades nine through 12, starting at nine ending in 12. And finally, this is shades 13 through 16, starting here, and then this is the darkest shade that they carry. So the concealers retail for $18. You get 0.162 fluid ounces in comparison to like a NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, which is 30 you get 0.22 ounces. So NARS, I feel like is a little bit more expensive. Let me look at a few other concealers. So the brand new Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Concealer that I reviewed is $28 and you get 0.23 ounces. So you're getting less product. You're getting 0.16 instead of 0.22 or 0.23. It is a lot less money. I think this is like a mid range price as far as higher end concealers go. Most are like between what, 22 to 30 now. So it is a little bit less expensive, which is great but you do get a lot less product. The packaging is very sleek. However, if I just saw it and didn't know what it was, I would think it's an eyeshadow primer. It just looks like very much like an eyeshadow primer packaging to me. Usually concealers are longer, but I do think it's cute in little mini size. I just wouldn't expect it to be a concealer unless you told me. Like it kind of reminds me of the Laura Mercier eye primer packaging. Not saying they copied, no shade, just making an observation. Let's go ahead and go in. So instructions say to apply the concealer under the eyes, blend for a flawless under eye. I'm gonna use my beauty blender. I'm not gonna use a brush just because it's not true to me. I wanna apply it how I apply all my concealers. So I'm gonna use a damp beauty blender and I'm gonna start with the shade number five and I'm gonna apply it how I saw them apply it on her Instagram. Now the applicator is a doe foot, but it's flat. It's like a spatula shape. So it's not rounded. So I'm gonna start on this eye. Wow, it feels creamy. Also gonna go on my eyelid and let it be my eye primer today. So I'm gonna start with this side and there's actually a lot of product on this. Like there was even more, so that's, that's good. Number five is the shade I'm using. It's definitely more yellow undertoned, which I like when I have a tan. It blended easily. I can still see a little bit of darkness. I might layer another color on top just because this one is pretty yellow. And even though I love yellow concealer, sometimes it just doesn't cover up my darkness, so. I'm gonna layer just a little bit of number four on top and I'm just gonna layer it right in this area. Oh, I like this shade. This one is more neutral toned. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit right there. It blends really easily. And my under eye looks pretty bright. Here's the comparison between this eye and this one. It is a lot brighter. Let's even it up with the other side. So I'm gonna go back to number five. I'm gonna go 
down my nose and around my nose where I get redness. I really like yellow tone concealers for redness. It really helps to combat and neutralize. Go on my chin and right here. I'm gonna use number four for under my contour just because it's a little bit more neutral. Just right there. It packs a lot of coverage and I don't feel like it dries too fast because I did my nose first and it still blended out really nicely. Okay, so my under eyes are creasing a little bit. For the amount of product I put under my eyes, I thought it would crease more. My eyelids are creasing pretty bad. So I'm going to blend it out in just a second, but I wanna blend it out like right before I do my powder because that's how I always do it. The baking powders come in four different translucent shades. I have shade one and two right here. One looks more beige yellow and number two looks more pink. So I'm gonna try number one since it is translucent. The packaging is really pretty. I like how it's clear and like a rosy blush, like my, my shirt, I love this color. So I like the packaging, it's really cute, but it looks tiny. You get 0.123 ounces of products. And again, this is $18. So um, yeah, I feel like it's, it's, it's mini size. I don't know how I feel about that. Did you see that? I opened it and it was like air compressed. It goes poof. The only way I can ever open these type of powders is if I take tweezers to get it off. Like trying to get this off with acrylics, girl, that's, that's a struggle. I'm gonna set this with my beauty blender as well, but first I'm just going to blend out the creasing and then set it as fast as I can. All right, we're going in. All right, so far I feel like it looks pretty much like any baking powder. I'm taking the excess and just kind of tapping where I get shiny, but my under eyes feel a little bit dry, I'm not gonna lie. Like, usually I don't complain about them, and my beauty blender helps them feel a little bit better, but my under eyes feel a, a, a little bit tight. I'll use a little bit underneath my contour. Okay, also y'all saw how full this was at the top, and look at how much powder I used. That's my only thing. This is like such a baby size. Like my beauty blender is bigger. <laughs> I like big powders. I like big powders and I cannot lie. Uh. I'm gonna go through this too fast. So I'm gonna dust off all the excess powder. Okay, looking up close, my under eye looks pretty good. It looks good. I do feel like I can still see some darkness underneath of my eyes. Like it looked really bright but I just feel like I need that extra brightness now. Like I feel like it's a little bit too dark in person in these areas. So we're gonna go in with a brightening powder and see how that helps. But my under eyes, they do look a little bit dry. It's definitely not as smooth as other powders that I have. Like I love my MAC Patrick Star powder. I love my Laura Mercier powder or my Cody Airspun powder. And like where I baked with it, like up close, it looks kind of dry. So I feel like the baking powder is a little bit dry on first impression for my liking. Moving on to the brightening powders. They come in four shades as well. I have one and two right here. Packaging is cute, it is cute, but they, they look small. This looks, I mean, this is, this is tiny. Looking at it in the pan, it looks like a similar size to a MAC powder. I think the MAC Pro powders might be a little bit bigger, but this looks like about the size. Here's a Makeup Forever bronzer in comparison, so you can see the size difference is pretty drastic. Like, this looks like an oversized eyeshadow. <laughs> These are the two brushes that you can buy. This looks like almost the same brush from her original kit. I just think the original one might have been like not contoured at all. Maybe feels a little bit softer. I don't mind the brush size. Like I said, I just have so many brushes I love. Like this brush is not a must for me. This is the other brush that you can get in the kit. And honestly, these just look like eyeshadow brushes to me. Like this is like a fluffy brush and it is soft and then like a flat brush. Like this again is not a must for me. I feel like I have brushes like this. So I'm gonna use this brush. This is what I would typically use if I was gonna go in with a powder to brighten. Well, I'm gonna go in with the number one shade. Number two is just a little bit more pink and I typically like more yellow. So this looks more like a beige yellow tone. So we're gonna go in with this underneath of the eyes. It feels creamy, it doesn't feel bad. It's pretty pigmented. So I've got some on my brush. I'm just going to Go in. Wow, from far away, like I'm looking, I have a mirror that's farther away. It looks like a pretty big difference. Like it's a difference. Do you see the difference between the two sides? Whenever I can add it where I contoured to. Oh yeah, you definitely could. 
Okay. Okay, I like this brightening powder so far. Wow. I mean, really though? I like the brightening powder. This is something I could see myself using more. I wish they would make a bigger one. I like what it's doing for my under eye situation right now. All right, I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. Yay, look how big my little baby's getting. Aspen's getting so big, look at her now. She just woke up from a nap, which is rare because she like never wants a nap and she just wants to chew my hair and my fingers all day long. Don't you little girl. Don't you, little girl. All right, makeup is done. Now time for my final thoughts. So up close, it looks pretty good. My darkness looks good. It pretty much covered everything once I used all three steps. However, it still looks a little bit dry underneath of my eye area, and I usually don't have a problem with my concealer looking dry. I did spray some Fix Plus all over my face, so I set my face how I usually do. So overall, I just think that like I'm kind of in between when it comes to the concealer. I don't think this is like the best concealer I've ever tried. I'm definitely not as hype about it as I was my Laura Mercier concealer that I just tried a couple of days ago where I uploaded last week. I like that one more than I do this concealer so far. I don't hate it. It's just not like, oh my gosh, I feel like you need this in your life. This is tough for me because when I applied the concealer, I really liked the way it looked. I liked the way that it went on. I feel like once I added a second layer, it covered a lot more and it was really bright. However, once I I went in with the baking powder. I just wasn't a huge fan because I feel like it looks a little bit dry still in that area. So I'm not a huge fan of the baking powder so far. I'm gonna try to use this tomorrow with a different powder and I'll update you guys and let you know how I liked that. Cause the concealer itself, I feel like was pretty good. If I had to pick between this and the Laura Mercier concealer that I just reviewed to pick up, I would definitely pick up that one because I love that one. However, this has a much better price point. It's like $10 or maybe $11 less expensive. So price wise, I would pick up this one. I really should have tried half of my face with my own powder to test. I just figured hers was gonna be really good because she's known for baking, but I'm just not crazy about the baking powder. It was too drying for me, even though it claimed to not be drying. I feel like it looked too dry on my skin. Now the brightening powder, I love. I think it looks really beautiful. I can still see the brightness underneath of my eyes and it's really flattering. I love the way that it looks underneath of my eyes. So this was definitely my favorite product out of everything. I would rank this number one, concealer number two, and then the loose baking powder was my third pick. Honestly, this by itself with a different powder I think would be magical because from far away, it looks really nice. It's just the baking powder that's tripping me out because it's giving that dry texture but the concealer itself is really pigmented and smooth and a lot of coverage and it felt really nice and looks really nice on the skin. So that wraps up my review. I hope it was helpful for you guys. Let me know in the comments. Are you going to pick this up? Are you pumped for it? Yes, no. Let me know in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe, join my A-team, and make sure your post notifications are turned on so you never miss a video. Thank you guys, as always, for watching. I love you so, so much. And hopefully in my next video, I shall have a different hair color. Okay, I love you. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.